by Cardo Monday Shop Talk, everybody. Trying to make it quick. It looks like it might rain. I want to get a chance to get out there and throw a couple of knives. I wanted to test them. Today, I carried my Spider Co. Tenacious. My Carter Scales, customized that I did. Every day, I carry that. In my left pocket, I carry this Topps. Uh, Topps MSF 4.0. Mini Scandi liner lock. Look at that action. I carry this in my left pocket, not with the pocket clip, just dropped it down in there. I carry this quite often. It's a fantastic blade. The steel is made out of Bowler N690 steel with a stonewash finish. You got canvas micarta scales. Feels great in the hand. And they've actually come up with G10s this year. G10 scales. But this thing right here is absolutely awesome. Look at that action. This is actually made in Italy. Four tops. Tops in, the, in Italy, they, they collaborated. They got it done together. That might be right now. Ah. Okay. Now, I carry this today at work. Fantastic. The only thing, I, I used it to cut some rope. I had tied down some uh, supplies, equipment on the back of my truck. And I pulled it out and used it to cut the rope in the back of my truck. Razor sharp, felt great. It set really good on my waist. I forgot I had it. This is the Ned Foss Bore Fixed Blade Survival Knife. Modified and customized. I did the serrations on it. This thing is razor sharp. Hopefully I can do a, a cutting test too. Uh, it's D2 steel and custom micarta scales. Feels fantastic. It was fantastic this morning. Nice size. So I might have me what I wanted, something a little bit different to carry. It was lightweight. So I want to throw it to see if the hardware is all together because that jolt in the board, it'll loosen up screws. You know what I'm saying? It's a good test. Then, this is what I did yesterday. This is that, I found out the number. This is a BPS B1, okay? It's 1066 steel, high carbon steel with a polished finish. Look at that. There's nothing pretty about the scales on this, I'll tell you. This is, uh, it's made for a reason. It's a camo, canvas, micarta. You see the texture? Man, this thing, when you get it wet, it feels so good, just sweaty, you know what I mean? It feels really good, wet, and it dries up really quick. And it's just, uh, it's a, it's not pretty, but it's very functional. And I'm curious about throwing this. It just feels like it's a nice balance. It really does. Even with the, look at that, the micarta scales. And I want to make sure the hardware on this is all secure. So hopefully I get a chance to throw these if I hurry up. And this I just brought out, uh, mainly I might do a uh, cut test on this. Uh, this is that Buck 104 Capadre, 5160 uh, steel, cobalt, cobalt coated, natural linen micarta. This is what I lightly sanded over the weekend. I did an update on it. It just made it so much better, got rid of the slickness. And that was brought to my attention by a subscriber, not a subscriber. I did a re, uh, check that out before I purchased it. Checked out uh, some reviews. And that seemed to be an issue a couple, on a couple of them, that it was slippery. And they sent it back. I'm not going to send this back. It's a fantastic knife, man. I absolutely love it. It's got jipping there. And I don't think I'm at the stage ready to throw this one. Not yet. You know, I did do the buck. Uh, ground commando, whatever it is, ground combat knife, the Tonto. Yeah, I ended up throwing it. So maybe I will this on this one. I threw the 119 special. Yep. Okay, guys, I'm going to see where I go from here. Hopefully, I got time to throw. Y'all take care and uh, sog out.